Let's get on now with the first email today. And the first email today comes to us from Shin Nguyen, who writes, Hey John, long time, first time. Thanks so much, Shin. Uh, despite the off-camera drama, Mel Gibson has always been one of my favorite directors, and Braveheart is my all-time favorite movie. Well, it's a great movie, man. Um, I just heard that Gibson will direct a remake of The Wild Bunch, which happens to be one of my dad's all-time favorite westerns. What do you think about this announcement? All right, thanks a lot for the question, man. And yes, the news dropped yesterday that Mel Gibson, the lunatic Mel Gibson, is indeed going to be directing... For Warner Brothers, and I'll tell you why that's interesting here in a second, but he's going to be directing for Warner Brothers a remake of The Wild Bunch. Now, The Wild Bunch is like one of the all-time classic westerns. People love The Wild Bunch, all right? They love this movie. It's a classic. It is also one of my dad's favorite classics. I remember my dad watching it as well when I was growing up. So it's a big film that a lot of people really enjoy. This is what we know about this remake so far. So this is what's been reported. The project is based on the classic Peckinpah film that follows an aging group of outlaws who look for one last big score, even as what they viewed as the Wild West is slowly passing them by. The epic had an all-star cast, including Willem Holden, Ernest Borgnine, Robert Ryan, Edmund O'Brien, Warren Oates, Jamie Sanchez, and Ben Johnson. The project has been in development in Warner Brothers for some time and was first announced in 2011. The project reportedly stalled following the 2012 death of director Tony Scott, who was attached at the time. Now, what's also interesting is that at one point, Will Smith was, not to direct, but Will Smith was attached to this film at one point to star in the new incarnation of the film. So he was on there as well at one point. Here's why this is interesting that it's with Warner Brothers. Do you guys remember, it's maybe about a little over a year ago, year and a half ago maybe, there was all this, the questions were going around about whether or not, uh, like who was going to direct Suicide Squad 2. That was the question at the time. We didn't know yet at that point. And there came reports that Warner Brothers was sitting down to talk to Mel Gibson about possibly directing Suicide Squad 2, which got everybody excited. I, I mean, myself included. I was very, very excited about the notion of uh, Mel Gibson doing a Suicide Squad 2. I thought his sensibilities would have been a great match for that and all that kind of stuff. But that didn't end up working. Now one has to wonder about two things. Number one, was Mel not talking to them about Suicide Squad 2? And was he actually talking to them about the Wild Bunch? Or were they talking with each other? And then Mel just went, ah, you know what I'm thinking about? This is not really the film for me. And then Warner Brothers goes, okay, well, I'll tell you what. What about something like the Wild Bunch? And maybe that got his attention. So I just think it's interesting that it's Warner Brothers that he's doing this film with. But on top of that, you want to know why this is a big deal? that Mel Gibson is going to be directing this film because put all the other lunacy and craziness and all the off camera nonsense that goes along with Mel Gibson. Put that aside for a second. When this dude directs films, those films get tons of awards buzz. As a matter of fact, the last four films that Mel Gibson has directed, the last four movies that Mel Gibson has directed have accumulated 22 Academy Award nominations. And those include his magnificent film, Hacksaw Ridge, got six Academy Award nominations, including a Best Director nomination for Gibson. I believe it also got a Best Picture nomination. I'm not sure about that. Apocalypto, which is brilliant. Apocalypto is fantastic. That got three Oscar nominations. Passion of the Christ got three Oscar nominations. And then you go back to what is will always go down as Mel Gibson's best film, Braveheart, 10 Oscar nominations, including wins for Best Picture and Best Director. Last four movies, 22 Academy Award nominations for those movies. When Mel Gibson directs your film, that film is going to get a lot of awards buzz. And you match a director like that up with a classic Western like Wild Bunch, it seems like it may be a pretty good idea. It seems like it might be a pretty good match. Now, a lot of this will also depend on your personal opinions of Mel Gibson with all the stupid, idiotic stuff he's gotten himself into and all that kind of stuff. I understand that. I'm not here to debate that. But on the basis of him as a director, seems like a pretty good move. Anyway, 
Let's move on to the second topic, as my MacBook just restarts itself for some reason. Let's move on to the second topic.